Hey everyone, it's Dave here. Just another quick video on the Notes app, and this time I'm going to show you how to use the uh, scanning tool in the Notes app. I believe this is one of the best features of this app and it's, it's something that you would have paid big dollars in an app maybe three or four years ago just to do this kind of uh, activity. So uh, now it's free and it's available in the Notes app on iPad. So I'm just going to tilt the orientation of my iPad into portrait mode. You can do it in landscape, but just bear in mind uh, how you tilt and whether it's portrait or whether it's landscape will impact this, the way the PDF looks. Say for example, you've been given a document and it's not available in digital format and you want to be able to create a PDF out of it. So here I have a document I'm reading at the moment, which is the education declaration out of Alice Springs. So what I'm going to do now is just access the uh, shortcut from the control center for scanning. So just flicking from the top right hand corner and then long pressing on the notes app. There's an option here called scan document. So I'm just going to use that. This is also available on your iPhone as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to use the camera to scan that document that I've got here and take individual photos of each page. So I can adjust the corners if I want to be really particular around how it looks and hit keep scan. So it then compiles a PDF of all the pages that I scan. So I click over that. So I think this is a really quick way of scanning a document, especially if you're in a class and maybe you've run one less copy of a note or some kind of document that you're handing out to the students and you haven't got time or the opportunity to get to a photocopier, you can now scan those documents and then digitally give them to the students via airdrop or email or something else. All right, so now you can see on this iPad, I have six documents down the bottom. I want to save those, so I just hit save. It creates it in a new note in the Notes app, and uh, I can write more notes down the bottom here, uh, talk about a summary of what I'm writing about down the bottom here, or I can click on the note again, say I've missed a page and I want to add more. I can just click down here in the bottom left hand corner and I can keep scanning and adding more documents to that PDF. So here we go, let's just add this last page, I'll call it the last page anyway, hit keep scan. Okay, so now I have those documents available as a PDF in the Notes app. What's great about this is I click again on the notes, I can flick through them just to see what they look like. If there's any that I'm not particularly happy with, I can click on them, go to the crop tool, and I can always readjust in this space, hit done, and tidy up any of those edges that I'm not happy with or you could just leave them if you don't care about it so much. Let's hit done. Okay, so that's sort of how you can edit the PDF. Once it's in this format, you can then go to the share option and you've got the option to mark up that document. And then it brings uh, all the features that we looked at in previous videos as far as the, the drawing and the handwriting goes. So now I can highlight certain elements of this text. I can uh, select sentences if I wanted to uh, and I can annotate over the top of the document. You can also see in the renaming, I haven't renamed this document, but the scanner has taken text from the front cover and renamed it as well, which is quite clever. So that's another great feature. Okay, once you've finished marking up or scanning your document, you can come to the top right hand corner here and share this PDF. So you've got lots of options around AirDrop, Mail, other applications that exist on your iPad or you know Google Drive might be a good spot or down here into the Files app which could save it in your iCloud or locally onto your iPad. 
Just be aware and be careful that when you do export these documents that you make sure it has PDF written in it. So either .pdf or you see that uh, grey shaded text where it says PDF document. That's really important to look out for that when you're exporting. A common mistake people make is when they go to the note itself and they see the share option here. They click on that and then they see all the same exporting uh, options but uh, what you'll notice here is it exported exports that out as a notes file or a notes document, uh, not just a PDF. So depending on how you want to share that, if you want to share the note, this is a good way to do it. If you want to share it as a PDF, you then need to click on that, then hit the share and you'll notice PDF is how it's shared after that. Okay, so that's scanning with the notes app. Same process for iPhone is for iPad and I can't wait to see how people are using this product in their classrooms.